Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. The 2000s have been described as the lost decade, with the Dow over 11,000 by January of 2000, but falling to 5,600 in March of 2009. And joining us to discuss her investment strategy is the author of a book entitled Bank on Yourself, Pamela Yellen. Nice to have you with us. It's my honor. You know, I sat there and I watched. We finally got back over 11,000 in March of this year. But I think about that. If we start in January at 11,000 and then we're just right back where we were before, what's happened to our portfolios and our investments? If Bill Clinton was president and we were worried about Y2K when the Dow first broke 11,000, the problem, one of the problems is about 401ks. If people are putting all of their faith into the 401k, they're not aware that their employees are auto employers are now automatically enrolling more people into the 401k and they are automatically increasing their contribution every year without asking them and they are also making up for dis in mistakes that they believe you may have made in terms of diversification by automatically moving your money into more aggressive investments. Now, the investment of choice right now is the target date fund. These are supposed to invest more conservatively as you get older, but during the financial crisis, target date funds for people who are going to retire in just one year plunged by an average of 26%. This is all courtesy of the Pension Protection Act of 2006. You have to wonder, who are they trying to protect? So tell me about the individuals that are managing these accounts and basically making these investment decisions. Because if you're a doctor or an educator or a broadcaster, whatever it is, you're in your field of expertise and you're putting money in this 401k thinking that these are individuals who are educated and experienced and making your financial decisions for you while you're in your field of endeavor. In most cases, especially in all but the largest companies, they have no requirements and often have little or no background or experience in investing. So they don't, they aren't a certified financial planner or no, a graduate they, with an MBA. They're the ones that decide which investments you can, you're going to be putting your money into and whether they're going to have the default investment be something that's more aggressive than what you can handle. So what kind of time bomb do you think is ticking in our 401 case or have we actually maybe seen the worst of it? It's the tax time bomb. Uh, see, we're suckers for anything. You tell us that we can defer our taxes, we love it. We'll put money into that all day long. That's the big appeal of the 401k. Well, what people don't realize is this. First of all, just think about it for a moment. What direction do you think taxes are going to go long term? It looks like they're going to go higher unless something happens we can't foresee at the moment. <laughs> exactly. So if they do, and if you're successful in growing a nest egg, then you're only going to pay higher taxes on a much larger t your number. So my advice is pay the taxes now. You At least you know what they are. So what should we be asking? Let's say, for example, we go to work for a company or we start our own uh, private insurance. What should we be asking? What kind of questions are the smart questions to ask someone? The smart question to ask a financial planner, stockbroker, or plan administrator is, can you tell me how much my retirement account is going to be worth on the day that I plan to retire? And if you undershoot that, if we don't hit that, will you make up the difference guaranteed out of your own and pocket? And how likely are they to tell you how much or B, give you a guarantee? <laughs> They're not going to do either one. They're going to fall off their chair. But that separates the men from the boys, and it shows you who really knows what they're doing and who doesn't. You really need to look outside of the traditional investments. So what do you recommend? I mean, in the book, you did, it was Bank on Yourself, which was in hardback, but now I see that you have it released in March. You've released it in paperback. Mm -hmm. What kind of advice do you give to people in your book? Look beyond the traditional investment strategies. What you want is something that gives you a foundation that is predictable and guaranteed. For example, there's an asset that has increased in value every single year for 100 years, no matter what the stock market's doing and in every boom and bust. And it's called dividend paying whole life. All right, Look and that's it. the tag word. All right, thank you so much. For Charter Local Edition, I'm Tracy Young.